Okay, I'm currently going to review two Mass Drop exclusive IEMs. Sent to me by different people at different times for different reasons. And one of these IEMs costs twice as much as the other. And while their signatures differ <sighs> twice, half, I don't know how you want to even label that in your brain. So this, which is literally a little box that says Mass Drop Plus Universal, and this little clear case that contains a couple tips. Um, this is $300, and that's for the ones that are in my head right now. The ones with the cable that's so short, I can't even really use them at my desk. So let's take those out. Uh, okay. And these, which are the Planamic, 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 Planam, Planamics. And these are half the cost. These are 150. And they come in a cardboard box, yes. But I kind of like, like, this feels like a medical pack they would give you if you were exposed to radiation and they were trying to be nice about it. It's like, oh, please open this and then you'll get a salve. Put on the salve for wherever their skin is burning. This doesn't look like it's straight out of a hospital. Like, this is just like, here, go give yourself a, an enema. Oh, look at the, the, the tips. This phone tips comes with. It even says Comply. Comply tips. Features Comply tips. I, of course, am not using Comply tips and I'm not using stock tips because nothing fits my ears quite like the Dakonis. Again, linked in the description. So this is a nice little kit. It comes with two clips. Two clips. I don't know why it comes with two clips. They might have accidentally given you two. I'm going to probably keep these and just say they're nipple clamps. Right? Cool. Sweet. Thanks, Goldie. Um... This one even comes with two wires. It even, it even comes with two wires. This one comes with one short and frankly not that great wire. This comes with two nice wire. Like, that's a nice wire. It's, it's a single, it's four wires in a braid and then two wires in a twist. It does that twice and this one has the microphone with a button on it. I obviously didn't hook it up because I didn't need it, but it comes with that. It comes with a nicer, I prefer the soft case to the, the hard plastic, like it's thinner. So I'm just comparing, right? We're going to get to the sound signature, how they sound in a second. You know how Zeos works. If you don't know how Zeos works, welcome to Zeos Reviews. Zeos rambles about shit, then looks at giant anime asses and goes, damn, that mass is going to drop. Did you see what I, I did there? And then we can talk about uh, IMs maybe. So you got a cleaning rag, a cleaning thing, more comply tips. I'm just, we'll start with the wiring situation. So this is a, is a twisted, just twisted and glued, not braided. It's a bit stiff. All those little like twists don't come out. I've tried to take them out, they don't come out. It just, just doesn't feel great. It comes down to a little separator. These are super lightweight and thin. I don't think they're gonna break, but it's eh. Then the shape, and this was what weirded me out the most, because I looked at it, I'm like, this is left? Are you sure this is left? Yeah, it's an L. And I go, and it's like, there's pokey bits? Usually, and for the last, like, five IMs I reviewed, I have literally praised how well they're doing at making it fit my ear, even though it's this crazy shape. Those those Icos were like a point, like an, an arrow, an Indian arrowhead was in my ear, and it was like, it was perfect. And these are the only ones that, when I put them in my ear, the way they're supposed to be put in my ear, like there's like weird bits to get way too close to things. They don't quite bother me, but it's the closest it's come to bother me. So this is a three balanced armature, and this is a single Planamec, 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 Planamec. I don't think that's what they're called. Driver, which is a brand new type of driver, and they've described it, and the only way I could see it being is a planar driver that's actually just a flat, basically single 10 millimeter uh, dynamic. So it's a, instead of, a, it's, it's a flat dynamic. And there's very big sound differences between these two. Um, if I'm going for a very articulate, very detailed sound, I'm taking the Universal Pluses. They have a bit of a V shape to them. And the treble has bothered me. So that's another thing. If, if, if it bothers me, even once, 
you're on my shit list. So you bothered me a little bit. A couple tracks in there. I didn't have the volume up too loud. I know I'm not using the stock tips, but it comes with foam tips. And it's not going to change it that much based on the density of the foam. So I was getting a little bit irked by a few of the things I heard. But overall, detail and low end, this is where you're looking. Because of those those BAs in there. It, I was actually surprised that the low end these could throw because the treble was so bright on certain things. I'm like, oh, usually when the treble's bright, the low end doesn't quite match. And the low end was there. And I'm like, oh, so we're just missing the mid-range. So I'm assuming with the three BAs is they did treble, mid-range, and bass. And the mid-range one just needs to be either bigger or different or doubled up and make it four. There could be more tuning done to make these really lovable. But I respect the sound they went for. Now these, the Planet Mix, that are, you know, a new driver that no one's ever used before. I was sitting here for the last 20 minutes, you know, prepping for this. And like, like, all right, I got to get the word. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What do you sound like? First of all, before I say the word... These are a more normal shape, and they fit absolutely perfectly. I like the wire better. I like the shape better. It sticks out more. This has sort of got like a weird... I got at least an eighth of an inch more stick out into this one, so it seats my ear better. And the word of the day for these is smooth. Almost to the point of being boring. Like, I put them on, and I'm like, all right, what's offending me? That's, that's number one with an IEM review. When I put these on, what's offending me? Oh, the treble's offending me. All right, just a little bit. Ooh, the bass is nice. Wow, it's really clear, good separation detail imaging on the, on, the, on the universals. I put these on, I'm listening for something that offends me, and there's nothing offending me at all. But at the same time, nothing is really standing out as being like, wow, this is what this IEM does better than everything else. And it took me a while... And, and using it, keep using it, put it back on, put these on, put these on. Smooth. It's like instead of there being any harsh edges in there, there's just a big ball that eludes, exudes sound in all directions. And it's just like, ah. Ah. So, which do I prefer? Because this has... More soundstage than that. It's a very good soundstage. It, it's not quite FH. It's FH5, maybe, soundstage. But it never really hits you with that that in, that clarity and detail. And, and the imaging is sort of a little bit wonked. These are just chill, smooth fucking IMs. So I approve of them for that aspect. And these have way more. The, the pluses have way more going for them as far as, you know... Picking out a sound, or referencing it, and saying, "Oh, that's a violin." That sounds, and it, it's when it touches those those little bit too high notes that I'm like, Phew. and I look to go back to these. I mean, if these were the only two choices on earth, I'd I'd be like, "Oh shit, I like the way those feel better," but but they're also they tend to be a bit dull. Yeah, they're smooth, but they're dull. I wasn't excited by my musical listening to those, and I was excited on some songs, and some songs that hurt. So I'm I'm not really gonna put either of these down. Like 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 fully like all oh, these suck three hundred dollars. I don't think these are worth three hundred dollars. There are fucking other things way cheaper that you can get, and I'll link them in the description. Note to future Zeos. Get, get those Icos and those those Canos pros in the description um, that you can get, and it's like, oh, you know what? These are as comfortable. Well, I'm sorry, way more comfortable. Have better accoutrements, and the sound. While this is very very sharp and accurate, also those are very very sharp and accurate and detailed, and they never hurt me. Now I'm I'm me and you're not you're not me. Last I checked, you're not me. You're lucky. You're better off that way. So when I'm offended by something or it bothers me, it's sort of it's just on me. I know that the ratings for this one are way higher than the ratings for this one. Even though this is cheaper and smoother, the I think the boring gets to people more. They they dislike the boring. Whereas people who are buying this, if you're into, you know, just wads of detail, sound, treble, get it up there, hit me with it, hit me with it, hit me with it, then bass comes in, yeah. Absolutely, these are fine. As long as they don't bother your ears with that weird ass shape, it's just a little bit a little bit more angular than it needs to be. And the, the accessories are just, you know, eh. So 
I do like where this is going. I think this is fixable. I think this is fixable, and I think this is fixable if they wanted to tune them a little bit more. You, 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 you quell the highs a little bit. Just, it's worth losing that, like, 8% of treble just to make it so it never hurts anybody. That's great. And the Planamic, yeah, I know you said it's, a, it's an all-new driver. It's all new. King, the new kind of driver for a new kind of sound with 3D printed, blah, 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 combining the benefits of a planar magnetic and a dynamic driver, the design yields a unique sound unlike any other in the IEM lineup. Yeah, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. There was old French cars that used, like, um, air and oil suspensions, and they were unlike any other suspension. They were so smooth on the roads, and those cobblestone, they were just, wow. It was a Citroen 2CV, right? Didn't that use some weird, I know cars a bit, Citroen 2CV used that weird suspension. It was so smooth. But it's still a Citroen 2CV. I don't give a fuck how unique the goddamn suspension was. It's not like, oh, should I get this Ferrari that's got a normal suspension or the Citroen 2CV that has a unique suspension. So I think if they work on this, they do a little bit more tuning. They, I don't care if they've upped the price or if they got to use this. See, the problem is this is built with me audio, M-E-E. Me did that they but did a couple of nights and they have a very stringent strict one driver policy it's kind of like bmw only doing all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive bmw will never bring out a front-wheel drive car it's against their basically the bmw religion no front-wheel drive it's the devil so me will never put out a multi-driver im and i think if they did do a combination of this driver and a balanced armature in there, and they, they got the, the tuning right, it would be... But that's not gonna happen. So they're gonna have to keep hammering at this one thing until they get the shape right, the materials right, distance right, size right, something else right, so that can, this can deliver as smooth a sound that it has, as it has, but with a little more detail in the highs and a little more excitement. Because I, I like them. I, I would rather, if you, again, you lock me in an, in an island, and I'm like, I've, I don't know why you'd lock me in an island. I played too much Far Cry back in the day. You got locked in islands. But I'd rather listen to these and be bored a little bit than these and be hurt every once in a while. Eh. Eh. So I will try to drudge up some mass drop links for both of these. They seem to be in stock all the time. Um, You could tell they're in stock because this dude with the beard. Hey. Hey. Your, your beard's not that nice. Get rid of your beard. Because he's in both of these. Look at this. What is that beard? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, I want to see that. Any more beard pictures? I'm sort of obsessed with the beard. Oh, it's the RHA amp. That's a good amp. Oh, it's a 789. What a dink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diaphragm, copper crown, magnus housing. That's the grill. So, yeah, it's just... A flat yeah it's exactly what I thought it was and there's a dip how does that end up being boring there's a huge spike at 4k if that's correct I never caught quite any like nothing hurt me on it so I'm like all right it's fine but anyway back to this guy's beard um, yeah both of these have 13 hours left this one's got four and a half stars at 111 and the uh, the cheaper MEE has three and a half stars at 33 reviews. I, I think if you're going to go for one of these two, save half of your money, get this, or save all of your money and buy one of the other IMs that I actually like am astonished by. Both of these feel like I'm making compromise. It's back to old school IMs where something is wrong with them. The other ones I reviewed, the Icos, the, the Canos Pros, the, the Fios, the, 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 even the BGVPs, which I wasn't like completely in love with, I still felt like they were just, they had their issues, but I could look over them. These are just like, all right, this is smooth, but boring. And this is more detailed and better particulates and, and better low end and better sound state, but it occasionally hurts. And that's like, that's like having two women to choose from. And one is dull and boring and knits, but, you know, is always there for you and it's fine and she never stabs you. And one that's, like, exciting and goes out and you party and then she stabs you. Not every little time. Like every 273 hours. Which you'd have to calculate out in your head. 
And I'm like, all right, is she going to stab me today? And it's like, but she's got more. Go oh, uh, so there's that's our situation right now. That is the situation. So linked in the description, these two and some alternatives, because let's face it, IMs, there's so many of them right now that just looking at an alternative is like, oh, well, here's 17 other fucking IMs. That wallpaper, that big mass drop wallpaper is in the description. Links to these, links to the Patreon. Uh, I think actually these are going to end up on the Patreon. The owner sent them to me and he said, look, I don't really want them. If you want to throw them in the yard sale, you know, pay me, whatever. So these might be ending up in the yard sale. You'd be able to get them for less than 300. Probably really most likely get them for less than 300 and try them if you want. And these are going back to uh, my friend who came to Rocky Mountain. He's like, can I have these back eventually? I'm like, when I feel like it, bro, bro, bro. Anyway, that wallpaper is for him. Um, we're done here. I will see you all tomorrow. If you join the Patreon, you might be able to buy those. You talk to me in the $10 tier. You could, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I say this every video, but there's, there's got to be new people who watch every video, right? It can't be the same people from yesterday. So if you're new here, there's waifus, and I bitch about Patreon, and I bitch about everything else. It's bitching channel. Zeos is bitching channel.com. Welcome, and I'll see you all tomorrow.